From the 1st of Jan 2012, gas engineers have needed the qualification CPA1. What that means is they must be able to check the combustion products of all gas appliances and be able to understand these readings and be able to act upon the readings they are getting. To help the gas engineer achieve this, they must be able to use and understand a flue gas analyzer. The flue gas analyzer samples the flue gases and measures the critical products of combustion, i.e. the CO, carbon monoxide, and the CO2, carbon dioxide. The analyzer is also able to monitor and measure the oxygen in the room. These are the three important things gas engineers must be able to measure and understand the readings they are getting. Gas engineers mainly use a flue gas analyzer for testing boilers, but all gas appliances need to have their products of combustion checked to see if they are within the safe limits. When testing boilers, the gas engineer doesn't just test the products of combustion going out, they must also test the, the air quality coming in and the integrity of the flue system to make sure the flue system hasn't broken down in the condensing boiler and is putting those dangerous products of combustion out into the room. Engineers can also use this flue gas analyzer for testing the ambient air within a room. They must do this in accordance with BS7967 and this is a completely separate qualification to CPA1. It's also very vital and important that the gas engineer has their flue gas analyzer calibrated every 12 months, even if they've hardly used the analyzer within that 12 months, because the cells within the unit will need to be checked and replaced. When using the flue gas analyzer on boilers, the engineer must understand when they are sampling the products of combustion from this boiler, there is a lot of water vapor within there, so the byproducts of burning natural gas is carbon dioxide and water vapor. So to protect these flue gas analyzers, the manufacturers use a bowl. In this bowl, there will be a filter and a water catcher, and the engineer must understand when and where they must replace this filter and clean the trap out of the moisture. Also, gas engineers don't want to be leaving their analyzers in their vans overnight. This isn't just to stop it getting stolen, because there are a lot of thefts at the moment from um, plumbers and gas engineers' vans, as well as other trades. Um, but over the winter time, which we're starting to come up to now, the flue gas analyzer will have moisture there, and we don't want this moisture freezing and damaging the unit. So engineers have a lot of responsibility for their uh, flue gas analyzer, but when you're paying a lot of money for something, you must be able to read it and understand how to protect it and how to use it correctly. Now this series of videos you're going to be undertaking is hopefully going to put that question what every gas engineer asks to bed. That question being, what is the best flue gas analyzer on the market? So, what we're going to be doing is going to take three of the best-selling um, analyzers in the UK market and we're going to be putting them through a series of tests to hopefully, at the end, come to a conclusion which is the best flue gas analyzer on the market. So my name is Derek Robbins from Tomcat Gas Training and this is what every gas engineer needs to know about flue gas analyzers. So you know what's happening? Let's get on with it. Three analyzers in question are these three. We have the new Anton, so this is the Pro. We have the Blue Lizer, and we're going to be using the Kane 456, which isn't their new analyzer. The reason why we're not using a new um, Kane analyzer is. When I decided to do this video, I got in contact with all three companies. Within two days of sending the email, Anton agreed to supply us this, free of charge. I think it was about four or five days after. Blue Lizer, free of charge. Kane, nothing. 
Didn't hear anything from them. Sent another email. Still didn't hear anything from them. Spoke to them on the phone. Oh yeah, they were all over us. Yeah, we'll send you one. We'll, um, why don't you come and film it at our center, they said, where we do our calibration. And I thought, well, no, that's a good offer, but no, that's not the right thing to do because it's not fair on the other two companies. Still didn't get one phone. This has been going on six months now. I wanted to film this six months ago, but Kane completely ignored us. Even spoken to um, one of their head guys, he said it gets sorted, didn't happen. Okay, so can't wait any longer for Kane to supply us with a new analyzer. So the only one we've got at the center is the 456. That's the only one we've got. And I believe the only difference really between this and the new one is the new one has two pumps. But Kane haven't sent us any information, they haven't sent us any analyzers, they haven't, they, it's like they didn't want to take part in this test. Okay. So they are the three analyzers we're going to be using. So let's take a closer look at each one. So let's start with the Anton. I'm doing in these in no particular order, just that Anton starts with A, so I'm going to do them in alphabetical order. Now this is the new Pro. I think it's been out about 12 months now. Might be wrong about that, but um, they've done some really big changes, Anton, with their analyzer. Uh, the main changes from their uh, sprint range is the case is more durable. So I'm going to be sending off this analyzer because it's due for calibration. And I'm also sending it with one of the old, it's about 18 months, two years old, this other analyzer we're going to send. And we've had to send about three back now in the last two or three years because the cases have split. So when the analyzer has been dropped, because at the centre they don't really care, they're not their equipment so they don't care about them, but they've been splitting across the bottom there. So they've made this new um, case, which is supposed to be, according to their information here, that it's made from the same stuff motorbike crash helmets are made from. So hopefully that's going to be stronger. So we're going to be doing a test for that. Okay. Um, and the way we connect everything up at the bottom here, so all the stuff in the bottom, that's changed as well. We're, we're going to see these up against each other, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about them, but the, the Anton has had massive changes, um, and we're going to see if they're for the better. One of the things is the buttons are massive now. So, for blind people like me, that's really good. So, anyway. We'll have a look at them when they're all together and see um, when they're up against each other whether the new changes are as good as Anton say they are. Now the second uh, analyzer we're going to look at because it's a blue lizer from Blue Line and B comes after A because it's alphabetical is this little baby. Okay, tiny little thing. It's more like a smartphone rather than a, a flue gas analyzer. You don't even think you've got it in your bloody hand. It's that small. But buttons are still good and again we'll look at all the different um, options and different things you can do with these analyzers. So uh, be interested to see if this, with it being half the size of the other two analyzers, actually does exactly the same thing. So, uh, but this is the new technology. So let's have a look at the cane because cane doesn't start with a C, it starts with a K, but it still has to be. So let's look at the K last. So this is the K, the uh, 456. So like I've just said in the, at the beginning about this analyzer, um, K really wasn't interested in taking, or it seems that K weren't interested in taking part in this video. Um, so I'm gonna have to use the one what we've got here at the center. So, uh, Again, we'll see this is the biggest and the heaviest out of all the, the, the three analyzers, but we'll, when we look at all the different um, options and different things this can do, we'll see if it matches up to, to all the others. Like I say, I think the only difference is the difference between the 456 and the 458 is 458 has two pumps in it. So, but we'll talk about that later. Now, 
that's just an introduction to the, the three analyzers we're, we're actually using. The first test we're going to do is because all these three analyzers are due for calibration at the same time. So the first test we're going to do is get them packed up and get them shipped back to their companies to get them recalibrated. Now, um, Blue Lizer is a little bit different than the, the Kane and the Anton is because you, you have a service agreement with them. So you pay a yearly service agreement which is in the cost of, um, of carriage. So they cover that cost from the beginning. But um, they're in the, in the um, calibration it's slightly different than the other two analyzers in that we have to send the gas sniffer off as well. So it's more, it looks like it's going to be more expensive. The, all the analyzers, when you work them out, are, are pretty much the same cost of getting them uh, calibrated. They're all virtually on the on the same scale. The analy uh, the blue line blue lizer is slightly, like I say, more expensive, just because you have to send more back. Okay, so um, let's get them sent off and let's get them back, and then we can start getting some tests done. So the first test is how quick can they get them back. Now, next part of the test is, we've got three analyzers, well we've actually got four because we've got uh, two going back to Anton. We're gonna send these analyzers back to the manufacturers for calibration. So, um, this one is the Blue Lizer one, okay? Now, Blue Lizer actually pay for you to send it back. So, but because of this test, I wanted to go to the same place so you can see him going to the post office. I'm gonna cover the cost of it, but actually, Blue Lizer do pay in their in their fees. They do pay for you to send it off, and they actually um, send it back to you as well. So that's part of their um, actual package. Now this one is for the cane. So we've got a cane in here. So we're going to send that off to cane, and then we've got two Antons in here. Now one of them is broken and needs calibration. The other one needs calibration. Okay. So we're going to take them out to the post office. So the time now is 25 past 11, and it is uh, Thursday the 12th of September 2019. We're gonna be taking these at around about 12 o'clock off to the post office. So I'm gonna fill myself going into the post office, and if the post office let me fill inside, actually handing them over so you can see me sending them at the same time. So, we've got the K, uh, the Anton, sorry, the K and the Blue Lizer. We're gonna send them all off today, and we're gonna see when they come back. So, let's get to the post office. So, let's get to the post office. the post office just around the corner from the centre there's a copper hello mr policeman i'll pull in front of this car and park up on the wheel line <laughs> <laughs> so there you go we're out of the post office <laughs> So I've got the parcels. <laughs> what time is it there? Ten past twelve. Ten past twelve. First class the um recording please. And this one. 
Yeah, they're all first class recorded, please. So that's the first one gone on, that's the Anton one. Gone on the scales. That one's the cane one. On the scale. Yep, first class recorded, yep. Okay. And the last one is the blue laser. So that's all of them done now. Just to find out which one comes back the quickest. Just sending them off at the same time. Yeah, get, it's, they're analyzers, the flue gas analyzers. So they're going to be analyzed, they get repaired and then they get sent back to us. And engineers always say what's the quickest, which is the best one, so that's why we're doing it. So it's for gas engineers. 1877. That's it, done, paid for. 1877. Bargain. £18.77 bagging my arse so that's proof they've all gone off at the same time so all we've got to do now is see which one comes back first wait now that's the end of part one so why don't you uh, tune in next Wednesday for this next exciting episode of which analyzer is the best to find out which one does come back first. See you next Wednesday. If you've enjoyed this video, why don't you give us a thumbs up? I'll leave a constructive comment down below. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, then get subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell because we release new videos every Wednesday. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and see you next Wednesday for the next exciting episode of Which Analyzer is Best?